It is true that England's been in a recession over the last uh, two, three years, and that was obviously a major factor in um, and something we thought about a lot before we opened. Um, however, the research we did didn't put us off setting up a coffee shop. Um, in fact, people uh, the, uh, from Allegra Strategies, which is a major research company within the coffee uh, sector, um, all their findings suggested that people did not want to give up their coffee. They were having to give up their holidays, they were having to give up their Indian takeaways, they were having to give up all the other luxuries. But for some reason, it was a stumbling pot. They were going, they were, it was as if people were saying, I'll give up everything else but my morning coffee. You can't take that away. Um, and that was funny because a lot of industry experts predicted coffee being a, almost a luxury product, you know, not a necessity, being one of the first things to fall, fall away. In fact, it was almost the opposite effect from the research we looked at and the fact that many coffee shops were opening in East London at the time and, you know, they were doing, they were doing well, you know, people were appreciating good coffee over there. So, although it was a risk because your head says, well, why would you set up a, why would you put your life savings in a business during a recession, you know, and it made you sort of panic, it, it was also, we, tr we, had to, we had to trust the research and the findings that we were looking into. Um, and from what we've discovered personally, that that's been absolutely the case. You know, people are less keen to give up their coffee and they still want to, you know, have that little bit of happiness every morning. And, um, and they give up other things instead. In terms of making it easier to find a location, I actually don't think that's true. I think it's still very hard for new businesses to find a location. And the reason is, is because landlords are much more nervous about trusting individuals, trusting small entrepreneurs like us. They are waiting for big companies to come and take their properties because they think they're a more secure um, option and viable option for the future and won't go bust rather than taking a gamble on someone like um, Artisan and um, not going right. So that is still a challenge. And although it seems logical that there'll be more places available to um, people like us, I haven't seen it.